Good morning. Let me present you today Helen of Ukraine. Canadian Parliament to recognize Russian crimes in Ukraine has genocide. Given the fact amount of clear evidence of systematic and numerous war crimes and crimes against humanity committed by against Ukrainians by the armed forces of the Russian Federation at the direction of President Vladimir Putin and members of the Russian Parliament, the House of Commons of Canada recognized the Russian Federation is committing genocide against the people of Ukraine. General staff, Russia is advancing in the Alsam region and in the Donbass. Russian troops continue offensive cooperation in the eastern operational zone in order to establish full control in the territory of Donetsk and Luansak region and hold land corridors within the Arctic Crimea. This was announced by the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine in the morning report on April 27. It is noted that the greatest activity of the enemy regrouping is observed in the Solsakai and Dostik directions. Zelensky invited to G20 summit where Putin may be. The head of the G20 and Indonesian president Joko Midododo invited the head of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky, to the take part in G20 summit. Earlier, all members were invited, including Russian leader Vladimir Putin. The summit will start on November 15th. All member countries have already been invited to it. After a failed meeting with Putin, the UN Secretary General arrived in Ukraine. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres arrived in Kyiv from Moscow for a meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. He introduced, he announced this on Twitter. We will continue work, our work to expand humanitarian assistance to ensure the evacuation of civilians from conflict zone. The sooner the war ends, the better for Ukraine, Russia and the world, Guterres world. Wrote. Historic moment, Ukrainian armed forces begin transition to NATO weapons to labor. Foreign Minister Dimitri Kuleba called the transition of the armed forces to Ukraine to a moment according to NATO standard, a historic and turning point. He stated this during an online inclusion on his Facebook page. According to him, two months ago, before the start of full-scale invasion of the Russian Federation in Ukraine, no one even thought about the possibility of the Ukrainian army switching into NATO weapons. Please subscribe for more in the link. Please, thank you.